Once your subject is completely painted and all the base uh, coat is dry, uh, like this example here, you can then go ahead and add details. And our details can be um, feathers, fur, scales, um, any kind of texture that the creature would have. And you can do your details with a brush or you can use some oil pastels. Uh, that works really well combined with the tempera background. Um, especially if you have really tiny details, sometimes that's easier for you to use. So you decide uh, how you would like to add them. You can even combine oil pastel um, or black sharpie even to bring out your details in, for example, real small areas like your nostrils. Um, I can use this oil pastel and push real hard to bring out that area, or I can use a Sharpie to bring in those areas. Um, I would work up the eye colors first. If you've painted, sometimes we've painted over the eyes. Um, you can bring back your white by just going over, see right in here, it'll hide this mistake, by using the oil pastel that hides white really well. So I can bring in the details with my white then I can give the creature an eye color. The facial features you want to work up first. That's the most important and you want to make sure that you have enough time to at least get all of your facial features done with a lot of detail. So I'm going to add, after I've done my white of the eyes, I'm going to add the color to the iris, which is the actual color in your eye. So I'm going to put the color in there and I'm pushing with this oil pastel pretty hard so I can get a smooth, even coverage. When you're using oil pastel, you do not want to have it so it looks like a crayon, like that. You want to push so that it's a solid area of color. And then I'm going to make my shape a little bit smaller. What's great about oil pastel is it hides paint. It's even hiding my pen line here. And then in the center, I'm going to add the pupil, which is your window to the world, the black. And then either with a black or a very dark oil pastel, sometimes it's better to stay away from that black at first. You can bring in the shape of your eye, draw in your eyelid. Depends on how detailed you want to put that. But the facial features are very important. And notice this dragon eye is kind of exaggerated, extra large. I do that so that we can see the features uh, when we stand back and look far away. So I always make mine a little bit bigger than normal so that it's you can add enough detail. Especially for kids it's hard to make real tiny eyes. So there's a, a detailed eye worked up. And this was actually just with a dark dark blue the darkest blue I can find in my oil pastel and I actually kinda like that if you want to accent a little bit with their black you can right in here um, now you know as a shadow next to the blue now I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and add um, texture with your paintbrush uh, sometimes instead of drawing, you know, making your scales or texture with your oil pastels, it's kind of easier and faster to actually just print them with your paintbrush. And so I'll do a few little scales to show you. And I'm using a very small round brush. I'm just dipping in, touching the edge, so I have very little paint on my brush. And I'm just going to press, actually I want to blend it a little bit make it darker. Because that's almost the same color purple I started with. So I want a, a little bit different value than what I have for my skin of, the, of this dragon or creature, whatever I'm making. So I'm going to just go ahead and press. And I'm pressing the brush down, and it gives a little print. It kind of just prints my brush. And I'm just going to do rows of this right in here. And you can even do it so that it's a little bit of two-toning. You can dip it into two... I'm putting a little bit of purple and a little bit of blue together. Oops, that was a little bit too big. And so I can go ahead and print now. And I'm just doing rows of this right in here neatly. Placed, press, press, and use the side of that brush. And if I only press a little bit, I get smaller texture. 
So you can experiment with that. You may want smaller texture and farther away near the eye area. And I don't put a lot in this area. I do it much smaller so that it doesn't become confused with the eye because if you have too much going on in this area, your eye will get lost. So I do it a lot lighter and smaller and space them even farther in this area. Just tiny, small textures. Almost the same color as that background. So I'm bringing back in some of that original background on my brush right there. And I'm blending it. So close, kind of dots. It's almost like stippling where you have tiny dots put close together. It just gives some texture and more interest to the painting. And if you don't like some of this stuff, I don't really care for it. You can always go back with some of that background color and press right on top. The same color you use for your background. And it just gives some texture to this picture. So, so that's 